All right, Drill Freak Nation, we're back, and uh, I'm here today with uh, Michael Seawack. So Michael, of course, after the intro you just saw, uh, Michael plays for Scranton Prep, and Michael is a sophomore, just finishing up his sophomore year playing for Scranton Prep, and he's been a, uh, Michael, you've been with me since fifth grade, probably a full-time yeah. student here at the Golf Academy Swing for Life. So we're going to get into a little bit here today, Michael, because you guys, this is the second year you've been on the team, you've been a starter for Scranton mm -hmm. Prep. Um, your record, your personal record this year, undefeated? Um, I'd say I was around 10-0 and 0 this year. 10-0. and 0. Oh. And sometimes you don't play matches. I mean, this is a powerhouse golf team, so mm -hmm. coach will sit you guys, some of the starters. So just a quick backstory. Uh, last year, too, again, um, Scranton Prep had a run at the state championship level in the Class 2A division and finished with a silver. And this year, again, we... Second place. Second yeah. place. So uh, they finished by one stroke. One stroke. So for those of you around the country, um, this is a, we're going to count how many stroke, how many t uh, players? Uh, they take five and you count four. Count four. So five players, they're going to count four. So one stroke out of an 18-hole round for a team championship is, mm -hmm. is quite incredible. So that, that could have gone uh, either way. So give me an idea. Tell me about your season. How'd your season go? Um, I'd say my season was like a good season. Definitely progressed from last year. I'd say I got around six strokes better, which means instead of shooting high 70s, low 80s, now I'm around mid to low 70s, and on bad rounds, high 70s. Right, so, so you, and you hit it good, and we've, we've seen it here with the academy. Of course, Michael plays a lot of uh, junior tournaments uh, up and down or around the area here on the eastern seaboard. We're here in northeast PA, so uh, sometimes there, uh, a lot of our high school players will travel down to Philadelphia to play, and then some. But... Uh, talk a little bit about your championship run, though. I mean, getting there. You had to, uh, you, you obviously undefeated yeah. this year in, in our division, Lackawanna League division. And then give me an idea, like, what happened after that? Now, where did you go from there? Um, I mean, Lack I mean, we played good, obviously, during the, um, the Jackman this year. I mean, we broke 300, which was great as a team. And um, since then, I had a little patchy area playing, but towards the end, I peaked nicely. I figured out a lot of things that worked good in the swing. Right. I putted great, so. Right, right. So then, of course, going through to get to the state championship, you went through the uh, sub-regionals? Uh, yeah. In regionals, mm -hmm. right, right. So yeah. who did you play in the regionals? Uh, regionals, we played against a team down District 4. They, that wasn't one of the greater teams, but right. they were okay. And then the sub-regionals? Uh, sub-regionals, we played Wyoming Seminary. Wyoming Seminary, and of course, that was a pretty... Yeah. You closed them out pretty mm -hmm. good. And again, that's a very, they have a great program too as well. So Scranton Prep, so now you go down and you play, who do you play down at the Estates? Um, the Estates, are, it's a six-team uh, tournament, so we played against Swickley, Devon Prep, team from Phillipsburg, and um, I forgot the other team. But God, God, no, and that's fine, so... Yeah. Swickley, though, is the one that you guys battle out for, mm -hmm. for first and second place. So, so one of the things here, too, we want to make mention that the team can come back again next year and mm -hmm. definitely make another solid uh, uh, run at the state championship again, yeah. correct? Mm -hmm. right? so. Yeah, we have a good shot. Nice. I mean, we nice. have um, uh, five stars coming back, so five juniors and one senior we'll have next year. Well, that's like I said, you have a great chance of making a run. So in two seasons... With Scrant Prep, personal record-wise, you really only have, in two years, one loss and a tie. Everything yeah. else are wins, right? So, yeah. so we're going to take a look. We're going to step back, take a look at Michael's swing, some of the little changes we were working on, uh, most specifically uh, with the driver swing here. And I uh, hope you guys are enjoying this. We'll be right back. All right, so welcome back, guys. So we're going to take a look here at uh, Michael's swing here. Some of the things that we were working on, um, especially a little bit of a squat move. I mean, there's been things... Uh, right through the years, yeah. look, let's look back from fifth grade to, to now being a sophomore. Mm -hmm. And Michael is a very accomplished player, and you're going to see in this golf swing that his um, technique and his skill set in here will mirror a lot of what you see out on the uh, PGA Tour. So let's just take a quick look. I have Michael set from the top, so Michael, we're going to take a look here. You know, a hair long club face is a hair close, but we would rather see that because you have a lot of lag. We're going to see in the swing here, Michael has a lot of lag in his golf swing. Um, we have the lines drawn in here. One of the, one of the lines, is, uh, most specifically, is this little circle right in here. So I'm going to start the downswing in here. 
So I want you to take a look here, folks. There's a couple of cool stuff here. Look at the amount right there. You're going to see a cool squat move right there. So you can see, look at the amount of separation that we, we start with. So that's a power move. So Michael is right now using the ground for leverage, but he's actually squatting into his golf swing. And we're going to take a look over here, even, even at the, um, uh, the right elbow coming down. It's beating the left elbow uh, very, uh, you know, that's pretty good position right yeah. there. Uh, it's, it's pretty far down there. One of the things you're going to see, and this is where we say about having that nice leg. So now we're getting into the, the hitting zone. So let me just mark this right now. So these are the areas, folks, that we really like to see Michael hit. One of the things here, too, we look back here. Let me just get out of here for one second. Um, we're kind of looking at the pivot, so I'm going to take a look at that right there. So we've been working, Michael, right? You'd agree, maybe keeping that foot down just a tad longer. Yeah. You've done a great job yeah. doing it because years past it would come up maybe a little bit too soon. and wouldn't be able to get a little bit of that mass behind the shot. So you're going to see right in through here as we come into the hitting zone, his, his pivot here, his right foot pivot is so, so much better mm -hmm. than, than origin, uh, originally when we were working on it. You can see his clips are here, the uh, hips are clearing very, very good right there. Um, not quite sure how much you guys, folks can see back home, but you're going to see some really good positions right there. Hips are clearing nicely. Right knee is moving to the target really good. And of course, that, that pivot is working very, very well for him. So let's pull out of that and just take a look. And let's just get to the point of no lines here. So we're going to go to impact right now. So you're going to see really, really good hand positions. They're going to zoom in there. So you're going to see a very nice, firm lead hand and a trailing hand. You can still see it's slightly bowed. He's keeping that pronation going through the hit. So as we back out, you can see his whole body is behind the shot. Let me just get back there through impact. So you saw all that lag. Really good hit right there. And this is something right now we've been working on. This ball, this particular shot here went just a tad. It was like a little bit of a Shondell or a baby fade. It starts off. So if you look right in there, we'll see that glove hand is, mm -hmm. is up. So yeah. if he's trying to hit, Michael plays the ball both ways. He can move the ball. So if he's trying to hit that little bit of a cut to the right, baby cut, you're going to see those hand positions like that. What I really like is look at that nice little power triangle you have going there between your arms, <clears throat> excuse me, between the arms, your shoulders. That's, that's really, really nice. So all in all, really great swing, great finish. So again, Michael, congratulations on such a great season. Thank you, you. You can see why here in this golf swing, this young man, why he hits it so well. Uh, some great uh, positions right there, really good skill set. So listen, Drill Freak Nation, we want to congratulate Michael uh, Seawak and uh, the uh, Scranton Prep Golf Team as well. Thank you. And we hope for another two more great years for you guys, yeah. right? Okay, so we will catch you guys back again, Drill Freak Nation. Thank you so much for sending us all the emails, and we hope to talk to you guys again on our next episode.